In my furniture school, we are lucky we get to tackle some fantastic and beautiful timbers. And we do this using a whole range of hand planes. We do most of the heavy work and the milling in our machine shop, and we will get timbers very accurate, but there's nothing like actually getting those planes working really accurately for this final trimming of these joints and taking timber down to a veneered surface. A machine just cannot do that. But what we need to do is make sure we're getting our planes really sharp. And in this video, we will be looking at the sharpening of our planes and the maintenance to keep the rust at bay because it's always there and gonna attack our planes if we don't watch out for it. How are we gonna set up and use the small one-handed block planes? This would really struggle on this end grain if I had a higher angle blade in there. Our standard common pitch planes with the Bailey style adjuster. Either traditional frogs or the bedrock style that have now come on all of the quality planes available on the market. And if you're not into the heavier weight planes, then the low angle ones with that low center of gravity and the Norris style adjuster are incredibly adaptable. What we can put into those is a whole range of different blade angles. We can tackle those difficult timbers also with back bevels and getting our normal blades very, very sharp. How we set up the chip breaker, whether it's a two piece or a single piece and getting the lever cap iron on there, all these elements bring us to a fantastic plane. If you can get all of these bits together, get them really sharp and well maintained, then the quality of work you do is fantastic. And what we're going to really concentrate on is how we can tweak these to get them to the peak performance. And if you can manage that, then actually your woodworking will be so enjoyable and pleasurable for you to continue with.